Web stories are best when they tell a full story and aren't used to tease other content. Let's find out why. Recently, I've been seeing increasingly popular guides and tutorials make the rounds that talk about the power of web stories, and that's fantastic. But there's one set of advice that might seem pragmatic at first, but will almost certainly backfire. That is building teaser web stories as a pure traffic acquisition channel. We know that many blogs and websites have their monetization strategy well-crafted and want to drive users to their main property. That makes sense. However, with stories, it's important to think about the user experience consuming them and how Google showcases them. To address the elephant in the room, the reason why we're talking about all of this in the first place, monetization. What you might not know is that you don't have to rely on converting traffic to your blog pages to monetize. You can directly monetize web stories with in-between page ads. Yes, you can use ads in your stories. Well-optimized blog posts might still make you more money at this time, but ad networks are working on building out and expanding their story integrations, so you should see both CPMs and fill rates improve over time. To start, I want to address one piece of advice that often goes along with the teaser story that I absolutely cannot recommend. Blocking indexing of stories. The applied logic by some is that blocking indexing is beneficial to teaser stories as then readers can't find them on Google search. If you restrict Google from indexing your stories, they will not only not appear on Google search, they also won't ever appear on Google Discover and now nobody can find your stories. But even if you don't block the robots from indexing, if you don't feed the robot something worth indexing, then Google won't reward you with traffic. It's simple really. A critical ranking signal is the quality of your content. And a one or two page teaser that is a glorified ad for your blog post is simply not quality content. It's clickbait and Google will do its very best to not show these to users. Now I want to make something clear. This doesn't mean that you can't link to more extended deep dives on your blog. Like always, there's nuance and acceptable ways of adding value in the moment while upselling readers to your blog, YouTube channel or e-commerce storefront. Good examples would include this shopping inspiration list that highlights products and links out to places where you can buy them. Or this recipe story that links to the blog for more. This isn't very different from a similar video. It inspires me to cook and I can see the end product. Plus, I can dive deeper into the recipe if I want to. But it is still a story with a beginning and an end. A no-go would be this three-page story that is a 10 best sci-fi TV shows list but stops at number three, then forces me to click through to your blog. Or this one-page story that mentions recipe on the headline but is just a bunch of photos that redirect to the website. Or this listicle where every story page has an outlink to the blog without delivering enough value on its own. To readers of Google Discover, Google Search and other places, web stories are a standalone form of engaging content. So please treat them as such. After all, I'm pretty sure you'd be equally frustrated if you went to a magazine rack and discovered that it's only the covers and all pages are missing. Great Scott! What? And when you give web stories a first-class treatment, like your blog posts and videos, you should definitely not be afraid to proudly showcase them on your website. Not only does it look great, it brings content that is much easier to consume to your most loyal readers, improves the organic ranking of your stories and diversifies your traffic sources. Web stories allow you to reach an entirely new audience on Discover and beyond, and contrary to their social story counterparts, can have links. So the web creators publishing the best stories will build their brands, acquire new loyal readers and upsell readers organically. Onwards.